Natalie here today and I'm bringing you a boyish layout created with products from the A Cherry on Top store. I'm going to try to make my page um, inspired by this little dude sticker sheet from Simple Stories and I'm using these fishing photos. So what I did was I pulled out a bunch of papers from my collection um, in the colors that are on the sticker sheet and <laughs> I actually spent quite a bit of time finding the perfect background paper. And honestly, I don't really know why, except for I'm, I, I'm always afraid that the background paper is going to take away from everything else I do on it. And I wanted to play with mixed media, so I just had to find the perfect paper. So I'm looking for not too busy of a pattern, but one that will also take my mixed media well. I knew that I wanted to do some orange and yellow mixed media. So while the blue was really beautiful and complimented the photos, actually, um, I realized it wasn't going to take my orange and yellow mixed media that I wanted. And that paper was cool, but it was very, very thin. And so even with gesso, it probably would have been too thin for mixed media. So I'm still flipping through here. And then I go over <laughs> and I grab papers from my gray collection. And that's what I ultimately end up using here. There they are. Um, and you'll see I flip through them. And that one's too dark. And that one's not a full sheet. And that one, for some reason, those polka dots seemed pretty girly to me. So I don't know why I decided that. But um, I think about the ledger paper. But then ultimately, I just decided to go with the super simple gray paper. This is from a Heidi Swap paper pad. Um, so then I use my favorite Thin Bear um, clear gesso. And I scrape it all over the paper. And I let it dry. That stuff is really wonderful if you're looking for a really great gesso that is one I recommend so off camera I chose all my um, pattern papers that I wanted that matched the sticker sheet and I cut them using the Sizzix Tim Holtz labels dies that I just got from the store and so here I am using the Tim Holtz tile stencil and my Ranger texture paste and I'm gonna just do a quick little rectangular line up the paper. So I'm spreading my texture paste on um, and you'll see later when I do the second round of it, I hold it up because I'm notorious for smishing already wet texture paste with my stencil. So I try to be really careful about that and it turned out pretty well, even though the end result is supposed to be really messy. So I'm not really sure why I worry so much about it, but so while I still keep the stencil over the paste, I use my Color Burst from Kim Oliver. I use orange and then Paper Artsy Infusions. I use Golden Sands and I sprinkle it over the texture paste. And then I make sure to wipe it off really well to make sure that I'm not transferring the color because that would create more of a smeared look of the color within the texture paste and I want the individual little dots of ink to show up. So here I am doing it again on the top of the paper and you have to be okay with um, abstract and non-control, <laughs> which I am. So, um, cause you never know exactly how it's gonna look, but I make sure to wait to pull up the stencil after I sprinkled my color. And there I've slowed it down. You can see the dried version. So, um, ah, there we go. And you can see the individual sprinkles. So if I could have used those inks to tint the paste, and then it would have just more looked like a completely orange paste without the, in, the streaks. So I start um, trying to figure out how I'm gonna um, put my labels on here and then th I add my photos and I realize I need some splatter of course so I grab my new Distrex Oxide um, Tim Holtz spray in Citron which is the green color that is reflected in the color sheet and I just sprinkle over the mixed media I've already done and then kind of in a it's gonna be a t-shape but sideways so I just kind of do down the leg of that t-shape where my photos are going to be making sure that the splatters will show behind my photos i really love the concentrated color from those distracts oxide sprays so off camera i inked up all of these labels so that they would pop and also because the sticker sheet has black so it just helps bring that tie that together but it really 
I really like the look of how it, the inking inked edge makes them pop better. Kind of gives a little of the messy feel too because you can see there's some distressing on the edge. So I figure out how I'm going to um, making sure that all the pattern papers cover up. Most of those are, um, let's see, we have some Echo Park 6x6 six six page, some Heidi Swap, some uh, Pink Paisley, and some Studio Calico there. So just a big grouping, but I just matched the colors from that little dude sticker sheet. So I get all of these on here and I start sticking them down and I just use my AGT gun, even though I already did do mixed media, I think it'll hold all right. Um, so far, nothing has fallen off. And I end up kind of switching it up from what I originally laid down. I just kind of wanted to make sure that all the colors could be distributed evenly and that they could cover that section of the page that I wanted them to cover. Overlapping a little bit of my mixed media and they're hanging off the page. And to be honest, when I put it in a page protector, I will trim off that excess, but I really like the way it looks. I kind of wish I didn't have to, <laughs> but I'm pretty good about putting my pages in page protectors, so. And then I decide that we need more splatter, obviously. So I pull up my Heidi Swap Color Shine in teal. Little known fact, I hate the word teal. I don't know why. I like to call it aqua, turquoise. Teal's not my jam, but I don't know why. <laughs> And then I also do um, some Tattered Angels Jack-O-Lantern, which is my shiny black. It's not a um, real saturated black. It has a sheen to it, and it's a little bit transparent. Um, but again, that brings the black, the same black that I used to ink the labels with. So finally, I think I'm ready to adhere my photos. And I um, have outlined them all in white. Ah, here we go. So I want to stick down my title, but I want to make sure that the lit that it's going to fit and then it'll look good. So I put down some plastic, just some trash really from packaging. And I put that down first to make sure I can see what it looks like. And I do like the way it looks. So I'm happy with that. So I stick down my photos and then I start sticking down my title. And my title is dude, you're a catch because they're all um, fishing, which None of them caught anything that day, <laughs> but it was okay. We had a good time. And the dude is taken from the little dude sticker sheet. And then the black alphas there, um, Felicity and Jane, that were just some of my stash. And so now I start pulling the stickers off, the entire inspiration for this project. Um, and the idea is just to pull off stickers that or boyish, you know, I don't, there, there's not even a fish on that theme sheet, which doesn't really matter because I didn't catch a fish, but just pull off some of the boyish stickers that go with the colors that I chose and, and sprinkle them around. Um, I like to layer a lot, so they'll overlap or underlap, is that a word? Uh, some of the photos and, um, I kind of stuck with the similar little, um, strips of words, all the strips of words that I used. I think all of them are black. So they're either the white with the black type or black with white type. And then I um, add some circles among my labels just for added interest. And you can see I kind of am going, um, in addition to my T design, I go a little bit from right to left diagonally as well, at least with the stickers. So I added the hello in the left upper and then I added the cool kid banner in the right lower and just a few more splatters for good measure and I think the final photo is coming up so thanks for watching me today and I um, leave a comment with any questions you may have and um, I'll link to the gallery where I have this posted for um, on, on the uh, on cherry a cherry on top gallery so you can find me over there and see all of the products that are tagged so thanks for stopping by. Bye, y'all.